Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and I would like to show you today a new feature that we have developed in Grytek Power Pack uh, for Inventor, Weld Balloon, it's called. Um, so we are in Inventor 2024, Inventor Professionally, Professional, I have Power Pack for Inventor installed and under the special ribbon for drawings we have a new icon uh, for this new feature Weld Balloon. This functionality has been developed um, at the customer request because uh, actually he was losing a lot of time in adding balloons for welds in his drawings. Uh, we all know that is not a straightforward way in Inventor to add such type of balloons for welds. Um, Basically, you can add balloons only to items that are part of a bill of material. Once you have this balloon on, uh, attached to an item from that bill of material, you can detach it, you can attach it then to the weld, and then you have to override the information. And then if you update your drawing, of course, the information will not be updated and so on, so the problems are <laughs> going to be mm, uh, continued. And then um, we thought, okay, let's go and uh, do this functionality that is automating this process. It's uh, resolving all these uh, complicated uh, points and uh, it's working for welds directly inside uh, the drawing. So I want to show you how this functionality is working in uh, Inventor 2024. I remind you that uh, the Great Tech Power Pack is working also in Inventor 2023. So if we click on Well Balloon, this window will pop up and uh, here we have some, some options that we can play with uh, to generate actually what we want. First of all, the action to add balloons can be manual or automatic. So when you add manually these balloons, you can add balloons in whatever view you want. Uh, it doesn't matter if are more than existing welds it's on your side to control this to make sure you don't add too many um, welds, uh, too many uh, balloons uh, comparing to to the, the welds inside your model. Uh, you can add some o some uh, option in the count. You have some options to control the content of the balloon. So you can add the prefix. Uh, by default, it's a W from weld. And the numbering of the welds is starting from one by default, but you can change that. Um, then you have the om automatic action that it's allowing you to place automatically in a view the welds that are detected again automatically. So this option is allowing you to place in one click all the um, balloons for the welds that have been created uh, in that drawing, in that uh, assembly uh, and you have them in that view. It's an automatic process is and you can add the type of the weld, the number, the size and we will see how you do that and including you can generate a report table. Let's see how it's working with the manual action. And I have checked here the prefix, yes. And uh, I will start from uh, 10, let's say. And to insert um, balloons, we click on Insert Well Balloon. And we go in this view. And we select the surfaces that are uh, inter uh, connected by the weld, yes. And then a point to place the... Um, balloon yes so we have here all these uh, balloons now if we uh, escape we get back the dialogue and we can now rep um, generate a report table so we uh, click report table and we have to pick a point where to insert that table here on the drawing ok so we have this um, this table with the well that we with the weld balloons that we have generated so it's a list of uh, welds with the number of the, uh, the weld uh, the reference of the connected element 
where it's uh, on the which sheet it's it's available or uh, and reference assembly okay now if we start again the command we can add another balloon if it's needed pay attention the prefix is reset and the numbering as well so we can say okay I want to start from one this time I don't know why and I do not want to have a prefix or I want to have a different prefix error and I insert 12 balloons yes and you will notice that the uh, table once you press escape it's automatically updated so uh, you don't need to uh, um, to redo the table yes it's automatically updating the information inside the table when you adding you are adding a balloon also you can renumber if you want the balloons and you see it will take into account the prefix and the starting number you have set here yes so it will automatically renumber to what you have um, set in those uh, content information and you have everything here now uh, the automatic option let's reset and remove all these um, these well balloons so when you click reset it will delete all the well balloons from the drawing and including the table of course and if we press to automatic we will see that insert well balloon and report table which will, uh, it will not be allowed and also we have the content balloon which is enabled here so we have number by default which is checked we can add the type this information is taken from the project is taken from the project so you need to make sure the parameters you have there are set properly the size of the weld as well and you can add a prefix if you want or not and you can start the numbering from a certain number the same like uh, like before in this version for the moment on the automatic actions we don't have a report table but now you just um, for example you select a view to add the balloons and we will see how that is happening select a view I am selecting this one and we will see that basically automatically it's adding all the wells that I need to have in my view so we have the uh, prefix we have the type we have the size and the number yes one two three four five six and this is how you add very fast balloons in your model in your drawing without losing time in uh, doing tips and tricks in order to uh, generate this type of uh, labeling for your wealth.